CJ6 body work update. The floor is here. CJ5 floor from Kaiser Willie showed up, and it's more than I expected. It's missing a few holes, but we'll figure that out. That's what the cardboard on top of the upside down tub is for, so I make templates of all the holes we got to drill in the new floor. In the meantime, the red hood is off another CJ5, but we're not sure exactly what color we're going to end up painting this. The customer's not sure, I should say. So we're going to sand the hood down, prime it. He has three sample colors, well, two sample colors so far, thinking of a third. And we're going to paint different parts of the hood and drive around on the old rusty Jeep out in the sunlight and see how it looks, see which one they like the best. So today is DA sanding, waiting for the compressor to finish airing up so I can start making a bunch of dust. Speaking of which, that hood is from the 60s, which means the paint on it, it has lead in it. So wearing a respirator or a mask of some type is a very good idea. Because you do this enough, lead poison is a real thing. You don't got to get shot to get it. You can get it just by breathing in too much. So keep in mind, we'll check on progress as we go along. Well, that didn't go like I hoped. The paint, I knew the underside of the hood was blue. And my thought was I could just take some 320 on the DA, scuff up the red, and shoot some primer over it so the colors would match or look the same. And let it dry, come back this afternoon, shoot the two different color coats. Nope. Whoever painted the red on there, I can't tell if the blue was factory or not. It comes off pretty easy. It might not be factory. But whoever painted the red on there did not prep the blue. There are scratches and gouges and spots with no paint. They just painted the red over. Couldn't tell I got the oxidation off. So now we're going down to bare metal all the way across the hood. After an hour and a half of that in this 100 degree heat, my air compressor decided it was too hot. So we're stopping for now. Start up again tomorrow morning. So I turned the fans off for a few minutes. I ended the last video with half to maybe a third of this third of the hood down to bare metal. That took me two hours. <sighs> I didn't want to do that all another six or seven hours. So I put one of these wheels. This is actually the only wheel I used. No, this is a new one. I used about half of a wheel up doing the rest of the hood. Uh, you can buy these online. I think this came from Harbor Freight. And now we're down to bare metal. I'm going to shoot some primer on it. Let that dry. Smooth the primer on out. And then start putting color so with a the owner can see what color they want their Jeeps to end up. So the other day, I spent two hours trying to do part of the hood with a DA and 40 grit paper. Today I used one of those poly whatevers on a grinder and primed it in less than three hours. So good use of time. My gum was shooting a little bit thick. You can see the lines, the tiger stripes. I'll wet sand those out before I put color on and I'll adjust my gun. Too high a pressure too, I think. I changed my pressure regulator and that might be it. But it's continuing the paint saga, at least on this hood. Got a wet sanded and the first color coat on. Let's see, what color is that? That is gold beige. That's the name of the color. Tomorrow we'll do the other red. Get a I'm pretty good. It's 105 degrees in here. I'm done for the day. So now the CJ hood has a sample of gold beige on one side and what is it called? Snapple red on the other side. Yes, I know there's a small dent there. I see it right in the middle of the picture. But it's there. Just painted. Just took the tape off. Let it dry overnight. And Put some hood brackets on it. Go put on the other Jeep. Let them drive around in the daylight. 
sunlight and see which car they like the best. Anyway, that concludes the hood saga for now. One more color to go. We don't know what that color is yet.